Now we can determine the theoretical flow time of each path. A theoretical flow time is the activity time. No buffer time is included in that. For path one, the theoretical flow time, which is the sum of activity times on that path, is 45 minutes, and path two is 60 minutes. Now we have, um, we have the total flow time, and we have the theoretical flow time. Having these two, we can determine flow time efficiency of a path, of a process. The theoretical flow, flow time efficiency is theoretical flow time over average flow time. Considering that path two is the critical path, the theoretical flow time of path two is 60 minutes, and the total flow time of that path is 150 minutes, which gives us a 0.40 or 40% 40, 40 is the flow time efficiency of, of, of that process or that, um, the path. So it begs a question that if the total flow time is 150 minutes, and the actual, the theoretical flow time is 60 minutes. What is the difference, where is the difference of 90 minutes go? It is the, the buffer time or the wait time in the process. So it's a good number to know, uh, and, and it's, it's, it's an area that perhaps we want to com uh, consider improving. Flow time efficiency is theoretical flow time over average flow time, and in this example, is 40%.